Lord, we just come to you and we say we need you tonight. A Virginia church community coming together in prayer less than 48 hours after a devastating fire ripped through this Clifton home, leaving three-year-old Zachariah and six-year-old William Bryce in ICU. Rescue crews pulling the boys from the burning house Wednesday morning and the brothers rushed to the hospital in critical condition. We're super thankful for the firefighters not giving up and performing as many rounds of uh, CPR um, as they did. Shortly after their father James spoke with News 4, the family taking to social media appealing for prayers. Doctors telling the parents the boys aren't showing signs of brain activity. To be in that room right now, we pray for supernatural peace. That Members of Love Church answering the call, holding a special prayer meeting as they rally around the Bryce family. They're the ones that are always there for other people every time they're in a bad spot. And um, they are extremely generous there with their time, with their lives. Um, and they're, them and their four kids, they're always at church. They always serve. Emotions high as dozens gathered here in Gainesville, wiping tears, leaning on their faith and each other. Asking, you know, how can they help? What can they give? You know, uh, people are just scrambling to do something to try to make a difference. This prayer meeting is just one way the community is showing up for the Bryce family. An online fundraiser topping $70,000 by Thursday afternoon. And Love Church is also collecting clothing and personal items, taking donations at two locations, Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. in Gainesville, and seven days a week, 9 to 5 in Winchester. They haven't even had a chance to figure out what they've lost, but it looks like everything. One of the things that we can do is we know we can pray, and we know that it works. We believe that it works. And the Love Church will hold two more prayer meetings like this for the Bryce family. Those are set for Saturday morning and Monday evening. In Gainesville, Walter Morris, News 4.